Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Wu Sing Master. This is a collectible uh, card game, free to play from Steam. My name is Wilfred, and uh, in this second episode, I'm going to run through some of the uh, features that I have not, um, you know, showcased in my last video, and also talk a little bit about the cards itself because some of you have asked questions like. Uh, is there any way to upgrade a card and so on and so forth? So I'd like to explain that a little bit. And I'm going to just play a little bit of the game. Um, you know, win or lose, that's fine. I just want to have fun and explain to you some of the cards that um, that is featured here. Now, uh, to play this game, the most definitely you need to know how to read Chinese uh, or you watch my video and kind of get a sense of what cards are for what purpose because after after a while you kind of see the same card again again and again and so like you can build on the success of uh, knowing uh, what the card means uh, there will there'll still be unknown out there I'm pretty sure but at least uh, you know quite a majority of them that it could be fun for you now um, like I mentioned in my last video uh, this is all simplified Chinese I am I don't really read simplified Chinese I read traditional Chinese so uh, sometimes I leave your guess work on my end and also I am not into this genre at all the CCG genre is very new to me but uh, the reason why I want to play is also because I'm I can relate to the Chinese characters because they they appear in some like ancient story books here and there uh, you know, thousands of history in, uh, in Chinese uh, culture um, and also for the, some of you who may find Chinese uh, kind of story a little bit uh, exotic I play Jap Japanese anime as well so I could imagine some of you may find it a bit interesting um, now I, I'm not going to talk through these guys here because I think you have already seen it uh, a little bit on this end of the story is that um, you could there, there are some kind of like um, kind of quest here and there some of them you can collect I you know seriously speaking um, the I think a, a lot of them you just keep playing and it'll appear once you appear you can actually collect there's a button for you to collect uh, that's about it there are different different tab to it and you could actually uh, collect after you have uh, what you know I think level up eight times you get another packet stuff like that so uh, this is for you a bit of uh, kind of like account level quest I guess uh, versus some of this like mission here which is a little bit different because the mission get refreshed um, you know once in a while kind of thing so oh uh, well actually some of them I've already received so I I've got like you know very interesting and the uh, I, I have, uh, oh wow, I can re receive this one as well. So I think, uh, you know, that there's some bonus to experience point and some kind of like, I don't know what the heck is this man, but uh, just some progress here and there really. Uh, so as you play a game, you can collect something. Just want to remind you of that. Even I don't know what it is because a lot of things are very Chinese terminology to a gaming kind of thing. Um, the, the, the closest thing I can explain to you all is that um, not everybody understands what mana or spirit is, but once you play ARPG, you can't understand what it is. Something along that line. Um, then you, this one is for the newbie. Uh, some of the you know kind of like quest for the newbie kind of thing. Um, if you, if you, if you participate playing with other people like PvP kind of thing. Um, so they have uh, you know events here. Uh, this is the okay. So this is quite activity. Uh, you know, well, it's just lock-in bonus. So as and when you lock in on the third day, you know, you will get this. Okay, so sorry, on the fifth day, I think, or whatever you call it. Um, so you 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 get the um, five cards, uh, you know, loot boxes, and after that, you just continue kind of like playing, and you get some really nice card here and there. Um, so that is really about um, about what the game is. You know, keep it kind of interesting. That is only if you can read it or you can understand it um, I can read it but I don't quite understand it to be honest uh, from the card wise perspective um, you know I, I, I think in my last video I haven't really touched down on the quality of the card so uh, there are some cards that are of a better quality than others so these are the common card you can see in the middle uh, the grey color those are common cards uh, these are blue cards which I presume is like a magical quality kind of thing these are the uh, magical card and the, uh, then of course you have the uh, legendary card which is like um, you know the the one here like these are the legendary cards so so that's how you see it uh, I do have a few like this is a legendary card legendary card as well um, so I do have a few here and there it, it, it may come into handy some of these are really cool stuff 
Um, I, like I said before, I will not go through all the translation, but as I play, I'll explain what they are. So I hope as you watch my video, you know, sooner or later, you'll get a big picture of what things are. Um, on to the cards, like, uh, you know, what you can do with the card, whether you can um, upgrade them or not. Now, I, I, I think from a, from a game balancing point of view, it doesn't entirely make sense because the more powerful the card is, the more costly it is to cast. I think that is basically the fundamental of the game. But, uh, you know, what you could do is to augment the probability of the card appearing. Now, what, what, do, I mean, what do I mean by that? Is that uh, some card actually have more, more cards like this one here. Uh, I, I may have like three cards here, uh, three cards here. So the the green color is the cards that you you have, uh, you know, in your in your deck configuration. The uh, the gray one or the white one is the what number of cards that you have. So for example, I have you know four of this uh, phoenix, but I could make it a uh, you know whatever. But the more you have, it dilute the whole probability of those really good cards that you like to show uh, when it happens. So. Uh, that is one of the reasons why you try to keep it to maybe 40 or 50 kind of region. Now, um, the, uh, what you can do with the cards uh, as such, you could actually, um, okay, let me just go back there. Uh, okay, this is this. Well, the green one, so this one is to, is to save. Uh, the green is to save. The blue one is to, um, you know, um, cancel. I would actually put it as a red one so people will know that, you know, this is a cancel button. But anyway, uh, so. Okay, so, uh, cards can be cannot be upgraded, but the probability can be altered. Now, what do I mean by that? Is that um, say, for example, uh, you have quite a lot of this type of card. What you could do is that you can um, disenchant the card and get five of the currency. Uh, so that's one way. So if you disenchant four of these cards, I believe you get four um, kind of like uh, you know currency, which is the uh, green green stone. They call it spirit spiritual stone green color so once you collect uh, 20 of them you could actually um, co make a copy of it so potentially uh, you could disenchant card that you don't like and then after that um, you know uh, enchant, chant, enchant a card that you like uh, so there's a currency to each card uh, how, how you can duplicate some of the cards so the more cards that you have of course of the category the more probability that it will appear and hence um, you know it may affect your build in some sense so there may be some cards that you really really like to use and you just want to have more of them then I guess that's really one way that you could uh, you know replicate the card so uh, that's my sense of it but I could be totally wrong because I haven't got that yet but I'm just guessing it and I'm just doing my like best to guess it without really getting there yet because I know some of you may be already there uh, like I said before this the, I think the purple one are for the PvP kind of thing or simulated PvP or PvE in a sense that you can have uh, AI um, as an opponent. Uh, this is the kind of like story mode. So the um, you you could oh wow what on earth is this? So um, I am somewhere here. Uh, what I've discovered in a CCG kind of like game, I, I can't know why it is interesting to be honest because I, I never played this before. But uh, in order to face this guy here, I actually lost about two times and the third time I won, I've won. Um, I, it depends on what kind of cards I have and what kind of cards that my opponents have, and that overall determine uh, the outcome, provided that you've made some good decisions along the way. So I think. In a way, it's kind of interesting because no two games are the same. Uh, that's the whole thing about all this repeatable content. I'm going to try this thing out. Win or lose, I'll just record it, whatever. Um, just want to showcase to you, this game is not easy. Not always easy, by the way. So I've got a couple of cards here. Um, I think uh, some of them is, uh, well, they recommend not... Well, I, I agree with this one. I not necessarily agree with this one but I think uh, comparing the, well okay because I have a three anyway so it's good to have a four somehow I mean my my thinking is that eventually I would be I need the kind of low level card somehow and the, uh, well this is a legendary card by the way um, so you know what I don't know man let's see how it goes 
So um, I've got two more cards that comes in. One is healing, one is to uh, do DPS. Uh, I'll explain along the way, don't worry about it. Um, so uh, round one is, yeah, is that you could sacrifice a card and after that, um, you know, you can gain magic to do things. So you must always sacrifice. Now, um, I, I'm hesitating to keep a... Um, um, I, I, I don't think I want to keep a legend I mean, although the card is very good so what, what it really does is that um, you know well actually you know what I don't even know what it does but uh, it doesn't seem to do really a lot so the reason why I don't really know what it does is that it's because you know there's a lot of words there and you know I have to read up the glossary to understand the game mechanic and for that particular card I just don't quite understand the mechanic yet but in any case let's just uh, end around because I have nothing else to do I, can't, I don't have level 1 card to put it in so uh, this guy put it in as the um, so he's a like Scorpio and the uh, it, it could consume 2 mana to make one of my cards lose 1 attack power and then to increase uh, its attack power by one. So I presume this card will keep like escalating as you get, you know, like higher or whatnot. So I, there are a couple of things I can do. Um, <laughs> no, uh, well, it's not that I really want to laugh. It's just, it's just that because I could actually neutralize this card by this card. So this card is a flying sword. Flying sword is to destroy this card, uh, you know, by eight life. And then if I flying sword to this guy, this guy will be gone immediately, kind of thing. So it's a level one card versus a level one card. Uh, do I really want to do that? Well, the reality is that I don't have any level two card, so that is probably one of the reasons why I'm stuck a little bit as well. Because, uh, I, you know, this is to heal myself for six uh, life. And this one is that uh, to make one of the cards attack power increase by six until the end of the game. So, um, so most likely I will have to sacrifice one of this guy. Uh, maybe this guy here. Oops, I can't. Well, oh, by the way, um, okay. So, hmm. I could actually chain my power. So I could actually do this guy here because I have, I have enough magic to counter this card because he put a card in. Uh, it's not really my turn yet, but I could counter if I want to. Uh, I say why not because anyhow, I mean, this one against one, so, so that's it. So he put one card, I lost one card. So net net, no one, no one win anything. So now, um, so this is nice. I've got like a, you know, starter card. And the, uh, so now I just need to give up one card that I do not wish to carry it soon. So I. I, I destroy one of these cards, uh, that's fine, and I put one card in, so now I am actually at two. Um, so so this is my, my, my card. It's just, uh, these are no, no magic, so... Um, so if, okay, so what happened is that if this guy here, uh, this whatever heavenly king, uh, receive damage, it will damage me by minus one as well. So as I hit him, I will get one damage. Hit him, get one damage kind of thing. So it's... Wow, so this is a nice uh, nice buff, man. <laughs> I really don't know how to counter that. But in any case, I need to keep sacri sacrificing cards. So this particular card that I like to sacrifice is that uh, once I enter, the number of cards that I have on the table will then buff my own health. Um, so I don't really have that many at this stage anyway. So I, I, I kind of like... Um, you know, sacrifice a card, I get three. Three, I could actually uh, put this card in. Now, the, the thing about this card is that uh, when this card enter the table, uh, both of us will draw one card. So it's a neutral card thing. It doesn't really benefit, give me an advantage in any sense, but it's sort of like, you know, give each other one card. That's all about it. So so I will receive one card, they receive one card, and I have two of this guy. Yeah. So uh, that is all. I can um, end around and I hit this guy. You see, I hit this guy and I get hit one time as well. So yeah, so that is the thing. Whoa! So this guy is called the uh, uh, a monster that absorb brain, eat brain. Oh, it's a zombie. What? Uh, so this guy is a zombie. So uh, whenever he enter, he. I lose two life and he he gained two life. Now this right now is getting quite dicey. Um, I am not really feeling it. This game right now is really hard. Um, 
we will see how it goes and the, uh, I'm going to block this guy because this guy is that uh, whenever I'm blocked my attack is increased by 3 so you can see the card is a 4 attack kind of thing but now become like 7 because I'm being blocked by this guy and I think overall I think I'll win this guy uh, but it's it's going to be very very hard right now because I'm I whenever I get hit I get hit here now this guy is interesting um, Okay, wait, hang on a second. Let me just do one at a time, right? So uh, this guy is that... Um, I could sacrifice one of my cards using this uh, this card. It's called Blood, blood Sacrifice, by the way. I could sacrifice one of my cards and whatever life I have on the card will then, trans, uh, will then translate into the damage against all the cards on the table um you know if if say this is 13 right if i if i could use this card on this one then i'll deal 13 damage across all of them so that's what it does uh the blood sacrifice uh this one is to pass through so this guy can then pass through and hit this guy instead and uh i i may actually end up doing that because um in about if i do that i may actually do that because this guy will let this guy penetrate into this one directly and because his attack is 7 and because this guy is here um, so this guy will never get killed off by my card so I will always have a plus 7 attack and uh, 7 in 5 rounds this guy will be dead uh, but then of course I'll get some damage as well uh, we will see how that goes you know what I will definitely do that now what on earth is this one uh, it has a special power called Sacrifice and uh, So I think it uh, it has something to do with uh, you know the Whatever card I I have in front the attack power we can transfer to another one now This is very not much like a necromancer warlock kind of like, uh, you know thing. So this is pretty scary stuff um, I tell you what man. I, I think what I need to do is that uh, I need to block this guy of course Otherwise, he'll hit me so I will bring this one in but I'll also make this guy a uh, You know, oh, I can't do two at the same time can I so Hmm it's a bit less ideal, but I think uh, I think I, I can go along with that kind of like, uh, you know, configuration first. Or I can wait another round before I make this one a pass through because I won't kill this guy off anyway. So, uh, well, why don't we just do that, protect myself first, alright? And then after that, um, you know, I don't think I need to sacrifice my card in some sense yeah i mean seven is still quite a way to go i mean this is kind of a nice card but i i really don't think we'll we'll get there so soon or i could say well you know what let me just do that um because i this one is to, is to save my card so okay now i got two of this that's fine so i'm gonna make oh wow so this guy can um it's a it's a restore restoration card card, and the uh, so okay. So how it, how this guy work is that however much damage he receive will be however life that he will gain back. So it's a leech. But my understanding is that it will never go beyond the life that he has here. Now okay. So now the uh, I. I, I am given the option to use any of my two magic cards because it's to counter what he put in here. The the only the only thing I have a problem with, with um well because I've got extra mana as well. The only thing is that I don't really have a card that I would like to heal anyhow. And yeah, I would like to just um you know don't do this one first. So I let him put there. Now the Okay, so now I, I because I've got surplus here, I could actually do a do a pass through. I can't do that. I can't. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. I don't need that either. So I am being attacked here, and I, I, I'll use my card to heal. By the way, so now uh, how I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a. Hmm, this is a bit risky. Because I don't want this guy to kill this guy off, and it will uh, in due course, and that is kind of not nice. 
Um, so I'm just going to take some risk here. I'm going to make a pass to. I'll, I'll make him a uh, this one transfer this one here. Now the uh, the on only problem is that I can't put this one anymore here. But I could actually sacrifice one card, and this one become a free. I can put it to put it here. So now everything is blocked. Now this one does nothing, but both sides draw one card. So both sides draw one card. Okay, and now this guy, this guy, nice. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So I am kind of winning. And now it's a good time to have that. Okay, wow, ooh, wow. So now, um, what does that do? Uh, so I can use this one to. Uh, so this one is that I'll 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 this I'll deal damage to his health based on the amount of mana I have. So if I have six, then I'll, it'll minus six over there. So you can do some kind of like uh, mathematics here because you know you can see that you know you have ten here, six here. It's still not like oblivious him yet. So. Well, that's one thing to look into it. Um, you don't want this guy to die, so I have to keep a lookout to heal this guy up, back up if I need to. Another thing I could do right now is to to uh, to bring this guy in, and I will get healed. Uh, because whatever number of things I have here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, I will get healed. So why don't I do that instead? So I get a heal here. All right, so I get a heal here. Now, um, I am anticipating a few cards to fall off as well, including the... Uh, I hope this one won't die. Um, I think this one will get fall off uh, if I don't heal it. But uh, So I need to bring one back in. So I'm going to just uh, skip the... I could actually sacrifice a card, but then I would like to skip it because I need one of these cards to bring back in here once uh, this guy gets sacrificed. You know, well, well, get destroyed. So, uh, yeah. Just... Okay, let's see what kind of card he has. Okay, so when he enter, um, it allow this guy to pick a card from somewhere. Um, I think this is must be the ground kind of like you know. Uh, well, each color has one element to it, the ground element, and the uh, to to pick it into one of these like slot. I think that's what it does. Um, so. I could now I could counter things a little bit and heal things up a little bit. Uh, I think I may want to heal up this card, this card here. I could heal up this card here. Um, you know, either way, I'm kind of fine as well. So I would what I'll do. I could um, I could, I only have one heal, and the I may just use it here. I heal this card. Oh, so basically this is a random pick. Um, okay, so one one of them is gone. Yeah. So it's a random pick. Uh, well, this card is interesting because all the life here will be halved. Uh, so that is what it does. And the uh, I could actually pick one of these cards back as well if I want to. Uh, I could. Uh, well, actually, I think I'm going to win anyway because if I use this card, which I, you know, if I use this card, which I think I should, um, the you know the. This guy will be minus six with only six left, and then with this one, I'm done. Uh, so why don't I do that? So I can just hang on a second, man. Um, sometimes I I don't I don't trust my Chinese, so I think that's what it does. Okay, I, I got it right, and the uh, I can, I also have time to do something else, and I why not? I mean, you know, for the for the heck of it, why not just bring this one in uh, to block myself here uh, for the heck of it? So. So that's it. Uh, so yay, done. So I I win. Um, it's not always a smooth sailing, uh, but sometimes you make the best judgment or decision on the uh, on how how it works. And um, you know, I have got a Phoenix card. Uh, one is always nice, and this is a Magic card. Uh, so I would uh, well, this is yet another one that is the penetration. So this guy will make a card. Have this like uh, it just 
penetrate into the uh, the enemy directly and it's a it's a one level one card only that's not too bad actually so yeah that's one extra card i have and uh, it's just a matter of farming cards and more coins that you can buy more cards and that's the end of the game um like i said i mean it's not always that smooth selling uh sometimes it's um it's 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 just one of those things and for the for the first card that I couldn't quite figure out what it does, my apologies. And I will I will read up on how it works and I'll tell you guys a little bit more uh, when I when I figure out how it works because they actually have uh, you know like a menu somewhere. Um, it, it's just quite nice. I mean they have like a nice nice menu to to teach you how to how to play this game and uh, some of these glossary what exactly things are are doing and kind of things so yeah i mean i i would definitely do a little bit more kind of like um you know they, they have a lot of like you know all this uh, explanation of what each of the category what it really means and stuff like that but you know i would read up on what the first card meant the the big bad like a beast um and i'll let you go let you know uh, next time if that is relevant at all um yeah so thank you so much for watching and do let me know in the comment box below if it's something that you like to see more and what kind of aspect that you are struggling because you do not understand the language and like to know more about it do let me know i'll do my best to do another video if you guys want and yeah, just to showcase to you what some of these features are for and until next time uh, we, we see each other goodbye and uh, have fun it's a weekend it's a long week bye